Hey guys, I was going to show you my finished Raspberry Pi slash Retro Pi project. I call it Raspy Vision. Shout out to the lady who, Barbara, who sells these retro gaming console covers on eBay. It's pretty nice. Let me take this off and show you what I've done. Here's my Raspy Vision entertainment system. Uh, I've added an LED here. I'll show you later, but the power switch is synced up to the Pi and shuts it down properly. The reset button is synced to a uh, Xbox adapter sync button, which is where the light's coming off of too, so you can tell when you're in sync mode. Over here where the cartridge normally goes is where you have your SD card. Let's see. In the back here, you got input power and a master power switch button. You got HDMI, Ethernet, and on this side, you have two USB ports, so you can connect up retro gaming NES or SNES or whatever you have, USB adapters. I originally was going to, I bought this Intellivision flashback console, which is a fairly new product. I was going to use that instead of hacking up a real Intellivision, but uh, the thing is tiny, and there was just no way I was going to fit the parts in here that I needed. This is, this is what an Intellivision flashback looks like. It's pretty simple, little, tiny little board, little power circuit, and a little dedicated board to, to hold the ROMs it does have. It has like 60 games. All right, let's open up the Intellivision. Okay, inside this is what we got going on. I got AC power coming in here, going to a switch, going to a five volt converter switched power supply. Um, it's five volt, five amps, so it's 25 watt power supply, I believe. Power comes out. Comes over here, goes into a mouseberry circuit, and goes into the Pi. Uh, the HDMI comes over to the back panel with a little uh, panel mount HDMI extender. Same thing for the Ethernet, which goes over here. And then these two USB ports on the Pi. This is a Pi 2 Model B. These two ports go out to the side here. So you have a place to plug in your retro consoles. The other two USB ports, one, the bottom one here, is going over to an Xbox adapter, which I've taken out of its case, and I soldered onto the, the little switch here and the little LED and brought them out to the front panel. I'll show you that in a second. The other USB port comes over here to the ultimate PC interface for Intellivision, um, which is allows you to basically hook up Intel real Intellivision controllers to to a PC. And so I replaced the cables that came with that, but nine pin uh, DB9 connectors, which then go out to your, your two Intellivision adapters. I got a little extender in here. It's kind of hard to see all this stuff. But I got an extender down there plugged into the micro SD card slot which goes the ribbon cable goes here which that's how I get um, the SD card accessible from the outside from the cartridge slot and the last piece of this well this this is the main switch the original switch from the Intellivision it's wired into the mouseberry circuit but the last piece of it is on the top of the Intellivision is that recess button and it has to have a switch to connect to so I built this little platform you can see it. It's sitting up about an inch off the bottom of the case. It's, it's very stable. Um, which one gives a place for that reset button to switch to hit, and that's wired back to the reset on the X adapter. But two, it also gives me a place to, when I take the lid off, the LED that's, in, that's fastened to the top of the lid has a little connector here, and that plugs in there. So when you start to take the lid off, you can you can unplug it to get the lid off without being permanently attached. That's the inside. Um, 
Let me hook it back up and I'll show you how it looks when it's actually working. All right, we're back. So I got it all back together again, hooked up to power and HDMI. And that's a master AC power switch. It cuts off the power to the whole thing. So if it locks up or if I need to reset it or something, I don't have to pull the plug, I can just hit that. That's only two required things. I mean, I have ethernet if I need to or want to hook it up to the network, I can. Um, and I have USB ports on the side there, so if I want to plug in other controllers or other devices or a keyboard or whatever, I can. All right, let's turn it on. The power light isn't really a power light. It's a light from the Xbox adapter. So it doesn't come on until the Xbox adapter initializes. Um, let's see. Let me turn on the Xbox controller here. It syncs up as player one. And you know, it takes a few seconds for the Pi to boot into emulation station. But once it is, I have all the different systems. Now if you play in television games, let's boot up. I'm not sure how well you can see that. Let's boot up Astro Smash. Then you would actually use the Intellivision adapter. So let's start a start a game here. Let's turn on auto fire because I can play with one hand. No, I can't play with one hand. Thought I could. I can quit this game from the Intellivision controller or from the Xbox adapter. Take so two button presses on the television controller. So I'm just press the guide button on the Xbox. Come back out. This is trickier to do than one handed than I thought. Alright. So. But yeah, I have all the systems. If you need to sync an Xbox controller, you can do that. Let's try to get this ready. So, sorry. So by pressing that button, it goes into sync mode. And pressing the sync button on the Xbox controller, and it syncs right up. So that reset button has now become a sync button so I don't have to open the system up to be able to sync stuff. And when you're all said and done, you press the off switch or turn it off, it shuts down the Intellivision properly and kills power. That's the Mouseberry circuit. I hope you... Oh, <laughs> this I have to just basically pull the battery pack on. I don't know any other way to shut the Xbox controller off because the Xbox adapter that's over here doesn't send a shutdown command to the Xbox controller like it would on a real Xbox. But I hope you enjoyed my uh, overview of my Raspy Vision Entertainment System. If you have any questions just let me know.